Hello all things Z fans, Dante here with your review from last night's episode of The Walking Dead, The Lost in the Pureed. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. That was totally a reference to those zombies that got eaten up by Dandis uh, the other night. That was so gross. No, today's episode was called The Lost and the Plunderers. Well, anyways, so first off, before we go too far, if you guys want to keep up with all the reviews and crazy antics of our show, make sure you click subscribe and then also like down there in the bottom. That would be much appreciated. But now, on to the show. What did you guys think of last night's episode? I was totally blown away. You know, sometimes there are episodes that are good, and sometimes there are episodes that are great, and sometimes there are episodes that are amazing. And actually, for the most part, I really enjoyed last night. Oh, P.S. Spoiler warning in case you didn't see it already. Ah! But if you're watching my review and you haven't seen the episode already, well, I think you uh, are owed any kind of spoilers you get. Normally, I don't like the episodes where they jump around in time, but it didn't bother me last night. It almost had sort of a Pulp Fiction sort of feel to it, so that was okay with me. The first thing right off the bat that I thought was pretty impressive was the part where Negan and Simon were in the room together talking. Man, for sure I thought Negan was going to take Simon out. And then, then Simon wanders off to go do Negan's bidding when he goes to the trash heap. And what does he do? The very thing Negan tells him not to do. He mows them all down. Next thing we see is a set excerpt from where Enan and Aaron are over at Oceanside talking with them. And you know, that was a short piece, but I really think that Enan grew a lot as a character. My favorite part was as they were getting ready to leave, Enan says, you know, we kill the bad guys, but you guys kill strangers. I mean, I think that was really deep and really interesting. Well, what do you guys think about that interaction? Also, it was sort of weird where they were like, don't come back. And Aaron was all like, I won't come back. And then they leave and he's like, I'm going back. Ha! You know, something I also noticed was they've got this short series going on right now that's called The Red Machete. I really don't care for it. It's pretty boring and kind of dumb. And last night's episode made almost no sense. The other thing that I really liked about Simon's arc tonight uh, was when he was all talking to them in the junkyard and he was all like, what's with the helipad? And I was like, wait a minute. A couple episodes earlier, there was a helicopter in the background. Are the trash people the ones driving around the helicopters? That'd be pretty crazy. And apparently they also have solar panels. There were two parts of last night's episode that I really enjoyed. The first one was the Rick section, where Rick went to the trash heap and met up with Jadis, or Jadis, or however you say her name. You know, it was a really powerful moment to see her kind of tell her story. I thought she had made an amazing character arc. And for the first time, I started to feel sort of sorry for her. And I also was pretty upset with Rick's response. You know, we go through all this stuff with Carl telling him he needs to let things go and try to make for a better future. And the first thing he does is leave her off on her own to die. And it led to what was then my favorite moment of the evening. What I like to call zombie puree. Oh man, that was so cool. She got them all coming up after her, and I thought, oh man, she's going to off herself. And then she turns on that machine, and then zombies start dropping into the trash compactor and getting churned up. Oh, it was so gross and so cool. I really enjoyed it. I'm also really curious to see what happens to her after. What do you guys think? Uh, you know, a theory that I think might be a pretty cool one is she may become the leader of the Whisperers. I thought last night's episode was amazing. What did you guys think? Comment down below and tell me your thoughts or any theories you may have. Do you guys have a great week? Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to keep up with all of our antics, click here to subscribe. If you'd like to see our next video, click here. Thanks, and remember, if it starts with Z, it must be all things.